Hello people, I'm Ginny Metherill and I am a fourth generation witch. Today I want to look at the subject that is quite maligned by a lot of people and it's something that witches use every single day of their lives in varying different forms and so we're going to look at dowsing. So this video is part of my new series called Unlocking Witchcraft and what I want to look at is each element of witchcraft and a very brief introduction and how to video for each. So we're going to start with dowsing only because it is the most used element of witchcraft that I can possibly think of. Maybe tarot too but that's more divination isn't it? Dowsing has intrigued people for centuries. I personally believe that dowsing is as old as humanity itself. The records that we have about dowsing come from ancient China, 3000 or so BC. There's hieroglyphs in Egypt that depict people dowsing. And normally it was used to find water sources or energy sources or mineral sources. So what is dowsing? Dowsing at its core is a determination of energy. Now that sounds a bit complex, doesn't it? So what it is, is it's a way of finding things. It is a witchcraft way of tapping into the energy of unseen objects. So I can personally douse for things that are very far away. And you can douse for lots of objects. That's not something I'm particularly good at. I did used to have a friend when I was younger who could douse with the best of them. Amazing person. You could take an object like a banana and say, look, I've got a banana here. And you'd hide the banana and you could map out the area that the banana was in and they would get their pendulum out and douse a bit and go, oh, yes, it's under the oak tree on the left. Amazing. I'm not myself very attuned with that level of geolocation dowsing. However, I'm pretty good at most other types. The old days knew dowsing as water witching because of course the primary cause that people think of with dowsing is to find water sources, so wells or underground streams or whatever. And it's still practised hugely, especially down here. I think when we sold our last house, we had a water diviner come and test our water. So he was able to discuss that the well had been sunk in this place here, which we sort of knew. But he told us how deep it was, how clean it was, and that is a classic water witch. The name dowsing actually covers a large variety of tools and so I wanted to quickly go through the most common tools that are used in dowsing. Now I'm sure that you're all aware of these L-shaped rods. I mean these are quite small these ones because I like a small rod. Most people have them a lot larger because it's easier to pick up and they tune in to the energy of what you are seeking. So you can instruct them. Sorry, I've got to stop doing this. It's how I, as soon as I pick up a dividing rod, I, my dividing rods, I start doing this. Only to sort of clear them, I think it is, so that you can pick it up and ask your dowsing rods very clearly what question you need. And they'll cross when you've got the answer. It's a very simple form of dowsing. These dowsing rods can be made of anything, wood, plastic, metal. I tend to think it's best if they're made of natural materials because what they're doing is they're tuning in to the energy of what you are seeking. And so when you cross that energy, you know, physically walk across it, the dowsing rods will therefore cross or go apart, depending on your style. They are attuned to your own energy and all this is, is a confirmation of your own intuition. These rods themselves aren't magical. They just tend to be very good at conducting your own intuition into physical representation of yes or no. The first though, most common form of dowsing is of course the beautiful pendulums. Now I particularly love mine. Mine I believe has a rock spirit fairy in it and this rock spirit will tell me much better, quicker and more cleverly, I think, um, the answers that I'm seeking and so I tend to use and trust this. 
Uh, the pendulum, again, is just a conduit of your intuition. Now, of course, my pendulum is a crystal pendulum. And the reason why we choose crystals is because they tend to be better magnifiers of the energy that we're trying to pick up. And so when you choose your pendulum, you must choose the one that you like the most. And it sounds so simple, isn't it? Of course, you're not going to choose the one you don't like. However, it's really important to make sure that you feel that the pendulum and you could work together. So I Ask that question in your mind when you're looking for a pendulum. However, I've often had great success with pendulums that have been given to me. And in fact, I was given one by my mother many years ago. And you can see it's got a massive great big chip out of it. If I hold it up, you might be able to see that it's got a huge great big chip out of it. Although that doesn't really affect the pendulum. But I do feel that the energy... Oh, I love this pendulum pick this one up for years, you know. It's got a really joyful energy to it. Quite aligning with my own at the moment. That's pendulums for you. Dowsing is a binary system, meaning there's a yes or a no. In fact, there's also a maybe and an I don't know, but that's for advanced pendulum dowsing. The yes and the no depends on the person. And so it's really very simple to work out how you know it's a yes or it's a no. You hold your pendulum up, make sure it's nice and clean, and you think, please show me a yes. And your pendulum will begin moving. As you can see, my yes, I try not to move, is a backwards and forwards motion. Then you ask it, dear pendulum, please show me a no. And you see my pendulum moves to a no, which is the left to right. That is the simplest form of how you douse. And then you can ask questions. It's a bit like that name, Guess the Famous Celebrity with 20 Questions. That is what you're doing. You're drilling down and using your pendulum to enhance your own intuition. Because all it's doing is giving you a positive physical affirmation of the answer to your questions, which you will find anyway, because you're a psychic. Modern pendulum dowsers or modern dowsers will often use GPS maps. It's part of a tool set as much as it's a part of a tool set of a witch. You know, I don't just use pendulums. I use a variety of all sorts of things that help me to get to where I want to be. And it's a very useful tool. And I use mine absolutely every single day. It's one of the first things I pick up in the morning and one of the last things that I put down at night. I do love a pendulum. In fact, I find pendulums give me great comfort. And remember, all of this takes practice. If you spend three minutes a day dowsing with a crystal or your rods or whatever medium it is that you really want to learn, by the end of six months, you'll be pretty practiced at it. It's just as simple as that. Practice makes perfect because all you're doing is learning to tune in to your own intuition. If you've got any questions, and I think you've probably got millions, let me know in the comments below and I'll try and answer as many as I can. Otherwise, don't forget, Patreon's coming up, uh, my coven meeting. We're doing tarot cards, actually, which is, I think, one of my next videos is going to be an introduction to tarot. We're doing a three-card tarot draw and the pros and cons. It's going to be a blast. Come and join me. Go to patreon.com forward slash Jimmy Middle. Otherwise, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next week.